Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay, so without taking much of your time, I want to talk about America. In this video, all I want to talk, all I want to, I want to unveil is what God will be to me about America. The continent of America. God will be something to me about America. Okay, so sit down and remain blessed as you watch, as we hear what is hidden in America that you did not know. I will be unveiling so many things to you in this video. I will be unveiling deep things to you now. Okay, America always say in God we trust. America as a con as a country or as a continent always say in God we trust. In which God? In which God? Is it the God of heaven, the righteous God, or the God of this world, the devil? All right, so let's go on now. America as a continent. America need God. America, the foundation of America is very bad. The, the foundation of America is occultism. Occultism. America is always saying God, God, God. It's not a righteous God. It's not a righteous God. The foundation of America is built on blood, the bloodshed. Bloodshed. A lot of desperate ghosts, a lot of desperate in America is great. Dead spirit among the living is great. Because of occultism, you understand. In the olden days, the first, the first world power then is Africa. Was I don't know, was Africa, Egypt, the first world power. And what are they watching? What is the powers of Pharaoh? The powers that Pharaoh was operating is dead spirit, dead spirit. That's why America today, all that you are seeing, because Amer um, uh, in Egypt is all about occultism, mystic powers, you know, ri you know rituals, all manner of evil, anything called evil powers, is what Pharaoh and the Egyptians was operating, using using it to manipulate the world, even using it to contrive God's, God's children, the church of Israel. They use that power to cause everybody to bend down, to bow down to every Egyptian, every pharaoh and all the Egyptians, their, and their army. So they are using that evil power to control everybody there when Egypt was world power. And today, what is going on in America? Let me tell you something. The same evil power is going on. The same evil power, if you are not worshipping the devil, in America, there's no way for you to lift your head. You must, they must command you to, you must bow, you must bring your head down to all the evil powers. If you don't want to join them, they will use everything threatening to bring you down. They must bring you down to bow down to worship the devil that they are worshiping. Illuminati, free mercy, all the all the occultic powers, occultic kingdoms, they are in operation in America against the true the true children of God. They control their they are in the in their government in the government. They are in their churches. They are the one controlling the churches. They are the one controlling the singers. So in any sector that you are, if you don't want to belong. Even in sports, they will, if you become rich and powerful, they will invite you to come. They will send Jay Z or one of their agents, they will begin to invite you to rear you. If you don't want to join, they will use everything to frustrate you, to frustrate your, to frustrate your career, to get you down, like in the days of old in Egypt. 
So what is going on? What the Americans are worshiping? They call the God that are worshiping is Satan. In, in in saying God, in God, in God we trust. Americans are worshiping devil. A lot and the too much bloodshed, too much, too much bloodshed. And this thing they are worshiping this is Satan they are worshiping. Satan that they are worshiping. And that when once they initiated initiated into, into that. That uh, 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 that occurred, into that into that that occurred, that illuminated. The devil keep on messing them up in different ways. Lots of them homosexuality, lesbianism is going on, disgracing them. You, you, you give them fame, but you tell them, bring, give me your soul. All that the devil in America is busy doing is give me your soul, drop your soul, and take a fake fame, take a fake fame. Suffering, you know, and smiling, crying in the inside, and the coming out to front material things. Why are they doing so? So, to draw more people inside, to draw more people inside. American preachers, ninety-five percent of American preachers are occultic. Ninety-five percent of American preachers. They are serving their power came from the devil. They are serving the devil. Majority of their pastors is into homosexuality. Lesbianism is a common thing happening. Immorality, immorality is great. Killing is great. Bloodshed everywhere. A country that say in God we trust. America need Jesus. America need the righteous God. The foundation of the foundation of that that continent called America is on blood, occultism, occultism. This is what they have spread down to Nigeria because Nigeria is always looking up to America. Anything that happened in America now, in the next two three hours, it will be in Nigeria. They are working hand to hand. That's why they are pastors. Now view because um, Nigerian preachers before have a trace of fear. Nigerian pastors before have a trace of fear before. But the moment they see that Americans, oh, they view them that is their power, is African power that they are using, is evil power, is it that, that that they are using Egyptian power. They say, but this power belongs to us. We are the original one. They now go. The I mean, African Nigerian preachers, especially you know, African preachers. They now say, okay, all these shrines, all these things is, is from us. They, they, even, they, they took it some parts from us. So we are the owner of it. Nigerians go to the highest and take it from them. Even Crayford Dollar said one thing that the kind of money Nigerian pastors are controlling, that even if they kill a cow, open his belly, pack all the intestine out and the low dollars inside and burn it, that it will be like it's like a change, you know, a change in their hand. It will be a change. Where did they come from? The same occultism that American preachers are into is what Nigeria have taken and even go higher than them because the power that they are operating is on Africa. Satan, satanic power, devilish power, occultic power, ritualistic power. America goes to country war. Killing out of bloodshed, ghosts, ghosts that you no know, ghost spirit, you know, death spirit living among the living, the dead living among the living, tormenting lives. So many people that live in America, they have been tormented. They will not tell you. I have not been there, but I am telling you what I saw about America. God showed me that this. Devil controls their government, controls the churches, controls everything. And they will come and say, God, God, God. There's something like God. There's something like holy God or righteous God of heaven. Righteous God in what they are doing. In what they are doing. One you no, know, one time when I was in Nigeria, some of them came to Nigeria. Say that they, that they came for, a, I call it a... Talent hunt. You know, I don't know what that's something they call it among the youth to hunt talent, to fish out talent. They pick those young boys out and go to another nearby 
the country where they want to say, want to train them and to 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 fish out to bring out the talent in them, only for all these young boys to come back, all of them become they are defied, they become homosexual. They become homosexual. This homosexuality among Nigerian youths is great. It's great. They make sure that they they, they, they introduce it to them, they inject it to them, they all came back to become homosexual. Homosexual spirit take over them. Because in Illuminati, this is what is going on, with, you know, going on among all these people that they are seen as they are the celebrities, as they are the people that are looking, the whole world is, is looking up to them, up to America, but they are the ones corrupting the world. Corrupting corruption, corrupting the world. They are the one, you know, pumping immorality to the world. A con, you know, a country that the whole world is looking up to, or uh, up to, as they are the world power. As they are the world power. Then the Nigeria shed blood, giving a lot enough blood from, you know, you know pumped blood to the devil. And Nigeria called uh, take that title. Nigeria is now where the devil sit down because they are giving enough blood to the devil in Nigeria. So now Nigerian preachers is richer. It's richer than American preachers. It's richer. And the government of Nigeria, the same way the devil is controlling everything, the government of Nigeria, the same way the devil is controlling the government of America. The devil is controlling them as well. The same way Nigeria is, is, is showing the world that they, 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 they are content and love God. They love God, but they are worshipping devil. The same way, this, they, exactly the same way is happening in America. They come out and say, in God we trust. But which God? They everywhere, church, church, church. But who are they to be worshipping? So, you see a, con a country that is calling God, calling God. Church is everywhere. But you see immorality. You see killing. You see abominable what is going on. You see homosexuality. You see lesbianism. You see people people are busy doing all manner of abominable things. You'll be wondering what's going on. Underneath is not the righteous God. It's not a holy God. It's not the God of heaven. It's the God of this world, the devil, the Satan, that they are worshipping. So you can understand very clearly from the little I just said to you what is going on in America. What's happening in America? Their preachers is preaching under the authority of Satan. The same way is happening in Nigeria. So this is what I just want you to know about America through this video. And the anger of God is burning, seriously burning. I saw in the Holy Spirit where heaven was weeping American one American preacher. I don't know his name. They are weeping him, serious weeping, serious beating, serious beating. That I saw George Bush, you know, George Bush, the president, American president, that uh, hand over to I think hand um, hand uh, Barack Obama over, you know, power over the the Bush, George Bush, not the one that the father died, you know, the the, the son did that hand over to hand power over to uh, Barack, Barack Obama, if I'm not mistaken. I saw him, I saw also Beyonce in that dream. This thing happened last week. As heaven is weeping, these American preachers weeping him. The man is the weeping I had never seen before in my life. As they're weeping this man, the Bush look at me with Beyonce. They are not, they, they look at me with like the, the, the righteous God have descended. That, oh, they are this God are come to this case. I want to tell you that God is about to disgrace the devil in America. God is about to disgrace all you worshippers of Satan. God is about to, God is about to, is about to disgrace that devil that people are worshipping. It will start from the church, the church of America. The, the judgment of God is coming mightily upon any nation that is serving the devil, that is promoting immorality, that is killing life, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is using occultism and the calling God. I have not, I know, I can't go without telling you this in the book of Jewel. Let me show you something in the book of Jewel so that you understand. I saw that revelation and George Bush 
and the person say their face become they drop angry. Look at me, they look at me as God is showing their vibration. They are mean, they're very, very angry for the torment that they see heaven releasing upon upon those pastors that is that is into Illuminati. Corinthians, Corinthians saying that they're, they're serving Jesus. I want to show you something quickly. I want to show you something quickly if I can find it now quickly. Okay. Okay, I want to read this for you. What God, uh, where God spoke to me about what's about to do in America. As I said to you, America is not serving God. That's why I say all of them abominable in immorality, lesbianism, homosexuality, every all manner of evil going on. And they said in God we trust. So this listen, I want to read because Joel chapter 2, verse 11. The Lord gives voice before his armies. Joel chapter 2, verse 11. The Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For his camp is very great. For strong is the one, for strong is, is the one who executes his word, his word. For the day of the Lord is great and terrible. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? For the Lord gives voice, for the Lord gives voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For strong is the one who executes his word, who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? Even Judge Bush them, and the and the Beyonce, they look at the torment. Their their face their face grew pale. You look at them. Even in that they did not repent because the devil had given them a stony heart. The punishment, the torment was 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 great. They, they, they started from the church. The weeping was great. I have to also read something for you before I I, I end this uh, video. America. America. Okay, I read Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day is coming. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. Burning like an oven. And all the proud, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble, will be stubble. And the day which is coming shall burn them up, shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that we leave them neither root nor branch. That we leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall rise with hidden in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stuff fed calves. For say, you shall trample, you shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the sole of your feet. On the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. This is what God said. Today the Lord will do this. It will be great. It is happening already. It is man, it is already happening. It is at hand. What the Lord determined to do upon all the nations on the face of the earth. Nothing will stop it. God will execute his righteous judgment on all the nations on the face of the earth. All right, so this is what I just want you to know and to hear about this video that America need a savior. America need Jesus. America need to be born again. America need to return to the righteous God, to the holy God. They are they have worshipped devil. They have they have worshipped devil enough. They have been giving life to devil enough. They are giving destinies to devil enough. They have lied and lived fake life enough. It's time for them to really, really, really if they did not turn back now, the judgment of God is at hand. It's coming. Judgment of God is at hand. All right. God bless you. Really good.